Episode 50B Arizona Ross FU, Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, LIHEAP, is a government program that provides assistance to U.S. citizens in moving to clean energy sources and help with their energy bills. Synopsis of the story There were air quality alerts in Arizona calling for mandatory wood burning curtailment in Imperial County and the Calexico area. Many tribal Hopi members have switched from coal to wood burning but feel there is a problem with lack of firewood. California Raws up view, the Bureau of Land Management should compost or move dead wood rather than burning it. Synopsis of the story, in California, the EPA was accused of delaying soot reduction plans. A no-burn wood-burning alert was issued for Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties by the South Coast Air Quality Management District. In Altamont, California, the head of an advocacy group called Doctors and Scientists Against Wood Smoke Pollution was incredulous that some people think wood smoke smells good. He went on to say that taking a walk is no longer a healthy thing to do in Altamont, California. In Davis, California, a letter to the editor referred to a screenshot at the fire and smoke map at airnow.gov showing the presence of particulate matter, PM2.5, at a time when toxic fireplace smoke was encountered at Davis Elementary School. An opinion piece in Laguna, California stated that the wood smoke in our South Laguna neighborhood was simply too acrid. Because this smoke pollution seems particularly bad at night, in San Clarita, California, a no-burn day was scheduled on the weekend. In San Diego, California, a story stated the EPA last changed the PM 2.5 standards in 2012. Health protections against particulate matter is grounded in the best available science. In San Francisco, California, a letter to the editor said wood smoke is far more immediately dangerous than the noxious gases from natural gas burning appliances. Another letter from the San Luis Valley said, but did you know wood burning can harm you and your family's health? Wood smoke from fireplaces or wood stoves is a major source of air pollution. In the San Luis Valley, the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, planned two pile burns. Pile burns are conducted each winter to remove dead wood. The BLM announced that smoke from the pile burns will be visible throughout the day of the burn. Colorado Raws up view, firefighters should compost or move dead wood rather than burning it. In Colorado, burn bans in El Paso County were rescinded. Outdoor burning concerns in Colorado Springs can be reported. In Eagle County, Colorado, criminal penalties for violators of fire restrictions were removed from ordinances. In Summit County, Colorado, Vale, Forest Debris, Slash Pile, burning was done by firefighters. Indiana Raws up view, cities should compost or move dead wood rather than burning it. In Indiana, a city council approved the use of an air curtain incinerator for an open burn. In the air curtain, smoke particles are trapped and reburned. New Mexico In Sandoval County, New Mexico, a city council passed a second reading of a new burn ordinance. North Carolina North Carolina trees are feeding Europe's clean energy revolution. Scientists and environmental activists say there is little carbon benefit to burning wood pellets. But the industry has continued to grow in North Carolina. Ohio In Mansfield, Ohio a letter to the editor stated outdoor wood burning concerns. The letter said there was a poor city response to the pollution problems. Oregon in Corvallis, Oregon, it was announced that the state of Oregon wants input for locating more air quality sensors, with a February 1, 2023 deadline. Sensors, which were first developed by the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, DEQ's, laboratory in 2019, are lower-cost monitors that collect timely particulate matter 2.5 data. 
In Lane County, Oregon, and the city of Eugene, burning wood was being highly discouraged in three Lane County cities. Cold air and air stagnation prompted yellow home wood heating days, where wood heating was discouraged for Eugene, Springfield, and Oak Ridge, Oregon. In the city of Portland, Oregon, and Multnomah County, the fireplace czar explained the county's rules limiting wood fires. He highlighted the dangers of recreational wood burning. His main message was simple, wood smoke is a health hazard. A Multnomah County ordinance, instituted two years ago, also forbids wood burning in stoves. Pennsylvania In Pennsylvania, the EPA was accused of delaying soot reduction plans. Utah Utah air quality is continuing to get worse, said a Utah State University, USU, professor. The dangers of tree thinning to save the Great Salt Lake was outlined. Logging destroys forest carbon absorption and burning the biomass is harmful for multiple reasons. Wood smoke is deadly. A writer said the state motto of Utah should be come for the jello, stay for the PM 2.5. Vermont. In Vermont, a writer reconsidered biomass in Vermont, asking, is burning wood really renewable? The writer looked at how burning wood fits into Vermont's climate goals. Washington, state of Washington. In Yakima County, Washington, a burn ban was issued. The use of uncertified wood stoves, fireplace inserts, and other uncertified solid fuel burning was prohibited. Washington, D.C. Raw's up view, this Washington, D.C. article ignores that wood burning produces much more particulates than natural gas burning. In Washington, D.C., an article was published on how to convert a gas fireplace to wood burning or electric because of pressure to ban natural gas in the home. Canada. Canada, British Columbia, Cathet. Raw's up view, Wood burning units should only be replaced by natural gas furnaces. A British Columbia provincial wood stove exchange program will be offered by the QRD. According to a staff report, in total in 2022-17 exchanges of old, inefficient wood burning units were removed and upgraded to cleaner burning wood burning units. At the University of British Columbia, more research needs to be done to look specifically at the effects of wood smoke on the brain, a researcher concluded. Air pollution appears to be changing the way our brain functions. Nanaimo, British Columbia residents were reminded to be cautious when burning wood. British Columbia Hydro announced more controlled wood burning at their site. The burning is only done for debris that cannot be removed and mulched. A Cowichan Valley, British Columbia letter to the editor said that drivers should be criticized instead of criticizing wood burners. In Peak, British Columbia, paramedics treated an individual for smoke and fire likely caused by a wood burning stove. A Columbia Valley, British Columbia article criticized home heating with wood stoves and also criticized open slash burning. Canada, Quebec, Quebec City. Raz up view, wood stoves should only be replaced by natural gas furnaces. The city of Quebec, Canada is to pay to replace non-compliant wood stoves in order to promote good air quality. Episode 50C.